Hello guys, recently Anthropic introduced a new model called Haiku 4.5, which people claim to be really really good on Reddit and elsewhere. I see quite a lot of positive opinions, so I decided to test it out. This is, as they say, as Anthropic say, latest small model, which means it is faster, but also cheaper. If we compare the official numbers on the cloud website, so pricing for Sonnet 4.5 is 3 and $15 respectively for million tokens input and output, and then Haiku is three times cheaper. And also it's claimed to be fastest, so why not use that? I decided to try it out in two ways. First way will be in the agent mode of cursor, and we will see the amount of tokens and price on cursor dashboard, so Sonnet versus Haiku here. But also second example, you can see in the code, I decided to test the API usage. So I used both models to perform the AI operation from Laravel here with the use case of transforming text-based search query into SQL queries, which basically replaces the checkbox search, allowing users to type their query instead of using inputs. So I will also show which model was faster and we will compare the prices as well. So let's start with prompting the agent to create a CRUD for products. So we have those products here in the table and in the database, we have them like this. So this is the list of beverages and let's just ask it to create a CRUD. I provide enough context which files to look at and let's see how Haiku will perform the job. And it is done. I deliberately fast forwarded to the actual result. It took two minutes and 15 seconds and this is the summary and let's check if it works and then let's look at the code. So if I go to this page now and click the dashboard, will I see new menu item? Yep, we have products. Does it work? Yep, looks like the table is good. Add product. The form looks okay. Let's try to edit some product. We edit and for example, let's change the name, the title to some other year. Update product. Update it successfully. So yeah, on the first glance, it actually works. Let's see the code, whether I'm satisfied with that. So we have index create in the controller, request validated, form request, great, route model binding, all good in the controller. Probably I would put those on top in the use section, but I can live with that. Form requests, authorized true, rules, okay. Let's take a look at the blade file. Blade file actually reuses the same elements as other blade files, so nothing really to see here. Routes web, controller here and add it on top, also good. Finally, sidebar, new sidebar link. It understood the pattern from other links and added everything successfully. So this is a trivial CRUD and I chose that for a reason because Haiku is good for this simple task. At least they claim this way because small model is supposed to work well on smaller, easier tasks. Now let's try the same prompt in the same cursor with Sonnet 4.5 and then we'll compare the results both if it worked, what was the code and the cost on cursor dashboard. So let's choose undo all. We go back to prompt, we choose Sonnet, and we start from scratch. Interestingly, for Sonnet, it creates a to-do list. For Haiku, it didn't do that. And we have the result. Again, I fast forwarded, and this is three minutes compared to two minutes and 15 seconds on Haiku. So a little bit slower, but not that drastically slower. What about the results, how it works? So let's click the dashboard again. Do we see menu item? Yes, we do. Do we have the table? Yes, it's a little bit more structured with like year on a separate subtitle. If we click edit, does it work? Let's get it back to 2015. We update the product. Yep, it seems to work as well. And in the code, probably same eight files. I would expect roughly similar results from Haiku and Sonnet in terms of code quality. Do I notice any differences? Probably not. I guess formatting this on a new line to compare with Haiku. Let's check the routes web, for example. This is interesting. It decided to add the controller in line and didn't use the same pattern of adding that to the use section, which I disagree with. But in this case, I intentionally didn't provide any guidelines about Laravel code or PHP code with the idea that it should figure out the patterns of existing code 
or at least provide the correct code. So I wanted to compare apples to apples without too much extra guidelines. And let's look at the sidebar. Did it do well? Yep, looks good. Now let's go to cursor dashboard and let's see how much it cost. And here I am on my cursor dashboard and look at those top two lines. The amount of tokens by Sonnet is almost four times high, but the cost is much bigger. So Sonnet model not only used many more tokens, but the price of token is, remember, three times. So just perform some math in your mind and this number would make a lot of sense. Which in this case means that you would use your cursor plan or anthropic plan or whatever plan you have much faster if you use Sonnet and much slower with Haiku. That said, I haven't tried Haiku on more complex operations, but for simple things like creating a CRUD, you see the difference. The result is almost the same in terms of quality of the code. The speed is similar, but Haiku is still faster and the price is uncomparable. And my second test of Haiku versus Sonnet is not about generating code, but as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, use the API in the code to perform some AI related operation. So I will try Haiku five times with different queries and then I will try Sonnet five times. So let's try wine from France and I will compare the speed. The result is correct. Let's try wine from Italy, for example. So I've tried five prompts with Haiku 4.5, wine from different countries, and then I will do the same five times with Sonnet 4.5. And then I will show you the speed in my logs. So now I will change from Haiku to Sonnet. This is logged in the Laravel log. I don't change anything else and will provide the same prompts like wine from Chile, wine from Italy and others. And maybe you can already sense that Sonnet is slower a bit, but I've proceeded with a few more tests under the hood with Sonnet 4.5 and let's see the result in the log. So this is my Laravel log with logging the data of how much time it took. Let's calculate from this test. So those lines are for this video, but also I've made quite a lot of tests before for Laravel related video and look at the results. Haiku model is one point something, fastest is 1.2, slowest is 1.74 and Sonnet 4.5 is two point something once it went over three seconds. So it's roughly twice as fast, I would say. In other experiments before, you can see the difference is roughly similar. So one second with something for Haiku and two point something or up to three seconds for Sonnet 4.5. So for that specific experiment, Haiku is twice as fast. And the cost Anthropic Dashboard for API doesn't show the specific cost for specific query, but I've been shooting a few videos today and over those videos with roughly same amount of tests on Haiku and Sonnet. For Haiku, I was charged $1 cent, for Sonnet, $4 cents. For roughly, I would say 20 prompts for each of the models. So the price of 3x kind of checks out. And for this simple prompt, this is the prompt actually to return the JSON and process the text. Again, for this simple task, this is relatively simple. Haiku and Sonnet quality, I didn't feel the difference. So yeah, the conclusion is that for simple, relatively simple tasks, I haven't checked more complex ones. You can shoot in the comments below if you have. Haiku is a clear, clear winner and a good trend to set for both price and speed. So from my personal testing, I tend to agree with this title of Reddit post I showed in the beginning of this video. And by the way, I will link that post in the description below so you can read more than 100 comments on Reddit, what other people actually say about Haiku 4.5. And if you want to get more news about AI coding, I have a newsletter, a free newsletter I send every Wednesday. So here's the last issue where I mentioned Haiku 4.5 being released, but in this video, I actually had the time to test it, but also I add a lot of other links about the industry news with my own comments or quote from someone who is commenting on that news. So if you want to get that into your inbox every Wednesday, subscribe. The link will be in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.